Hi, welcome to One Minute Manifesting. I'm Valerie. So, control. If ever there was a loaded word at this point in history, whoa, it is control, no question. And so much is going on right now that stem directly from issues around control. Uh, what happens when control goes out of control and has to be brought under control? So we're looking at extremes around control. But on an individual, you and me, day-to-day -day level, we are involved in control and situations around control all the time. There's the sense of um, parental control or driving, you have to control the car. And there's people who are in control in a business. There's people who are in control in their daily life or feel they have to always be in a state of extreme self-control. But I'm st you see so many instances of this even come up uh, in the shows we watch. Uh, in the recent uh, big hit on um, Netflix that was uh, The Queen's Gambit. Everybody was talking about all the different threads on Facebook recently. And that particular one, the young woman who is the center of the, of the series, she has a lot of substance abuse issues and she has got a lot of uh, abandonment issues and a lot of other things, but she, but she keeps herself under a very uh, rigid sense of control all the time. And you see it in her habits and her appearance and how she speaks. And um, even the actress who played her was saying how she is addicted to control. So there's a tremendous amount that goes on all the time where we are either in harmony with how we're controlling our life in terms of uh, what we think, what we say, how we behave, how we act, how we relate. And when that goes off the rails and becomes, um, moves into the realm of the control freak and that moves off into a whole other area. So when we look at our own behavior day to day, we say, am I being too controlling? Is it affecting my relationships? Is it affecting how, uh, how, whether I'm happy, am I having fun in my life or am I simply trying to keep everything under the lid of control? When does it feel like it's in balance and in harmony with how I'm living? And when does it feel like I'm going off the rails? When does it feel like I'm trying so hard to control everything in my immediate environment, including, um, you know, family, my, my primary relationships, um, my friendships, it can extend into a lot of things, a lot of areas. And if we step back to why am I manifesting all these different areas, we start to begin to notice how we relate to that and how we respond. This is where we start looking deeper. And Neville Goddard always talked about he often talked about controlling what you imagine, controlling your thoughts. Instead of letting them run away and be that monkey mind chatter that's making judgments, that's perceiving that things have to be kept controlled all the time where we can't spontaneously flow with what's going on in front of us or have a sense of joy and fulfillment and living in harmony because we're more concerned about control. So remember, it all comes back to what we think and how we think and how that manifests for us. So work with that, play with that, explore that, and I'll be back and be talking more about that in future One Minute Manifesting. Join me at OneMinuteManifesting.com. This is Valerie. Love you and see you soon.